Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can turn your Gligar into a Gliscor in Pokemon Brick Bronze. It's pretty easy to do, this guide's only gonna be short, and um, yeah, I hope that I can help all of you new players, because I know a lot of new players will not know how to get this Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, let's get into today's guide, guys. Okay, so before we get into where you have to go to get a Gligar, I would like to say, guys, if you have never seen any of my Pokemon Brick Bronze videos before, go and check out my content, because I do giveaways, guides, glitches, and I know for a fact you guys will absolutely love it if you give it a chance. So, um, yeah, try it out. Uh, but let's get on with the guides anyway, guys. So I know a lot of you guys will not know exactly where to get a Gligar, and this is where uh, you have to go, basically. I have a lot of people here, so shout out to all you guys. You know who you are. Uh, but basically, in the far top left-hand side of the map, you will see a place called Gragnos Cliffs. This is where you will catch a lot of flying Pokemon, you know, because it's on top of the cliffs, and a lot of Pokemon fly down these ways. Uh, so what we're going to do is go and fly there, and go in this patch of grass here, just keep on wiggling about, walking up and down, until eventually you will come across a Gligar. I think Gligars in this area are probably really really rare so it will take a little bit of time guys uh, just don't give up on it eventually you will come across one and uh, luckily enough I came across a female one which I am definitely gonna start breeding as soon as possible I may even do it a, a big huge giveaway of them one day I don't know if you want to see that guys then comment down below but uh, finally after a little bit of time of wandering around this area you will have caught a Gligar Okay, so next we have to go to the Battle Coliseum. It's pretty easy to go to, you just go to the RTD on the left hand side of your screen and travel over there. And uh, this part is a little bit tricky for those of you who do not like playing PvP. You basically have to get enough points to buy a certain item in the battle shop. But if you guys are not good at PvP, you can actually use Robux to buy BP. 50 BP should be just enough. Now if we go down, you will see an item called the Razor Fang. This is what what you need to evolve your Gligar into a Gliscor, okay? So make sure that you buy that, and then we just need to go back into adventure mode. Now once you're back inside adventure mode, what you need to do is go and make sure that you give the sharp tooth to the Gligar and make sure that he's in your party. Also, as you saw, I did look up at the moon, and this is because you must make sure that it is nighttime when you evolve your Gligar. Otherwise, this will not work. Make sure it's nighttime, and uh, I suggest just going and battling a player that gives you a lot of EXP. Now, inside the mines, there's this guy who has a lot of EV evolutions or evolutions, and he gives you a lot of EXP. And as you can see, I've just defeated him. My Gligar leveled up twice, which is insane. That just shows you how much EXP he actually gives you. And uh, now we should be able to actually evolve our new awesome Gligar into a Glissizer or Gliscor. I don't know how you say it, but uh, there you go guys, you can see that the evolution is starting, and I do hope that this guide was easy enough for you guys to follow, I'm very sorry if it isn't, but if it was, then please remember to leave a like, because you guys are awesome, and I need your support, you guys can support this channel, <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and make sure that you go and check out my other content, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!